كانوا قليلا من الليل ما يهجعون. The Mahdi, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, would be from his descendants, and he would have the same name as the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, Muhammad ibn Abdullah. Father's name would be Abdullah. And he would be, some narrations say that he'd be from the line of Fatima. But anyway, he would appear, Allah would change him overnight and he would appear from among the Ummah and lead the struggle against the forces gathered to erase Islam towards the end of time. There will after the Mahdi succeeds in overcoming the forces of other nations, whether it is Europe, Christian nations, whatever, he overcomes them and sets up a rule, a rule which the Prophet ﷺ had said would be a time when justice would be spread throughout the earth. He will fill the earth with justice and fairness as it was filled with injustice and inequity. And he will rule for seven years. Towards the end of his rule, a drought will begin on earth. There will be three years of drought. In the first year, Allah will command the sky to withhold one-third of its water. Rain, one-third of the rain will stop. In the second year, two-thirds will stop. And in the third year, no rain will take place anywhere on earth. Rain would stop altogether. Has that happened yet? No. So these are the signs to let you know clearly the Jal is not here and now. When that circumstance arises, everybody will know it. When there is no rain anywhere on the earth, it will be in the papers, it will be known. It will be well known. And at that time, the Jal will appear from the east. The Prophet ﷺ was reported by Abu Bakr to say the Jal will first appear from a land in the east called Khurasan. Now Khurasan is currently in Iran. And it is a region, is also a city within what is known as uh, Kurdistan. And this area, he would appear first, followed by the next major appearance between Syria and Iraq, where he will come in conflict with the forces of the Mahdi. That's the first point at which the trials will begin. 